We gotta go. Are you ready? We gotta go. He's, he's walking that way. still alive, but he leaned right up against that tree. Well, he's hit. I don't know how great he's hit because I did try to thread the needle through some brush. He's not going very far. I also know that. We're gonna hike up and get to the top of that hill and see where he is over on the other side. Um, I, I don't expect him to be too far. So we knew that we didn't have a lot of time left in the day to get up here and get him, and especially with the snow being so deep, we had to really push hard. We pushed hard to within, you know, 250 yards, and he could hear us crunching in the snow. And he started to, he turned around, then he started to walk away. So we had to take a few shots pretty quick. I have to say, that right there is one of the nicest sights that a hunter could ever see. Even though the animal isn't right there, you know that he's completely done. That was a stalk, like, oh, wow. It's a heck of a push today to get this guy, he's a, he's a big old bison, and lone bull by himself, super happy with him. This literally, the journey has just started. This is the easy part. I know we say that and you know, you get a moose on the ground. This is a different ball game where we've killed this bison. The snow is knee deep to waist deep everywhere. So we've got a long way to get him out of here and we've got a big day ahead of us tomorrow. Temperature's really starting to drop now. We're gonna be without daylight here soon. So we just wanna take the, uh, take the guts out of him and come back tomorrow, but We've got to move as we are. It's a long way back to the snow machines in the dark, <laughs> in the waist deep snow, so we got to go. It's been a long pack down off the mountain without any meat. This is going to be a good one. Uh, we're going to come back off the hill here tonight, set up camp, get up first light, and start working. Uh, I have a feeling that we're going to be two days packing this bison off the mountain. Some would say, stupid. But I know we have a big bison on the top of a mountain right now. And I know that that meat is going to taste so good for over the next year. And that's all I'm thinking about right now.
So where that bison sits right now, it's definitely the most challenging place that we've ever killed a large animal and trying to get it off of a mountain. And there's a reason why we decided to do it yesterday. Most, most would say that bison is safe forever, but this is why we train all year round so that when we see something that we want, we can go and take it and we know that it's coming home and we aren't gonna quit until it's done. And now it's just taking one step at a time and putting one mile behind us and getting to it and getting the job done. That's kind of how we look at most of our hunts is don't worry about what's gonna happen after, just take it one chunk at a time and you know, eventually you get it done. That's why we train all year round is so that when the hard times come, you don't look at them as hard, you just look at them as another adventure. I would say third time's a charm, but this is about number eight. I gotta go over here. Okay. Next one. This is a big deal to have gotten the snow machines to this point. We're about 700 yards up the mountain. We broke the trail down last night and it's firmed up and that will make a heck of a difference for getting the bison down here today. You know, everything goes well. We literally could have him off the mountain tonight. I think the best way to get off the mountain is to drag it down. So we're just gonna put it in the game bags and tie a rope to it and drag it off the mountain because if you put it in your backpack with the snow, how deep it is, it just gives you that obviously extra, you know, 50 to 100 pounds that you're just gonna punch down through anything on the way down and end up waist deep and trying to move. It just does not work. So the smartest and the easiest way is to just drag it behind you in the trail that, you, that we made last night and then obviously we've packed it down a few times today. So dragging it off the hill is definitely the best way to go and we'll just drag the game bags all the way down. So we got it down off the mountain. Now we just have to load it up into the snow machines and we get to go. So the, the hard physical continuous effort is over. Now it's just trying to make our way out of here. And I expect uh, it'll literally be later tomorrow before we actually get out. But yeah, another night in the mountains is awesome. <laughs>